What's up everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Lineage 2 Revolution for you today. This is a Fortress Siege number 33 in the series. We have an awesome fight. I'm hoping going on today we have the Republic of Korea versus Korean Legacy. Yes, that's right. Two. Count them. Two. Mostly Korean clans. I say mostly because after the merge I'm sure they've added a few non-Koreans into their into their clans, but mostly Korean clans going head to head. Now I have caught both Republic of Korea and Korean Legacy on video before, but this was post merge. Now we are finally watching them go head to head. I never caught them going head to head before. They're finally going head to head now. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. Let's head into what is going on today and here we go no shocker there they are both on top rock number one 214.9 million combat power in totality for their clan korean legacy at number two 210 million combat power in totality for their clan we are looking at about 4.9 million or less a little less than 4.9 million combat power difference between the two we know that doesn't mean anything. I have checked out the individual combat power of the two clans. Many of their members are 4.2 million combat power or higher. Rock has a 5.1 million combat power person on their team. Korean Legacy has a 5 million combat power on their team. So this should be super awesome. Let's see what Korean Legacy paid for the right to challenge Rock. This is for an S grade fortress. Korean Legacy, 200 million in one Adena. Finally, after what, three weeks, maybe four weeks of attempting to challenge Rock, they have finally won the right to challenge them. And that is what we are going to see today. Let's head into the battlefield. All right, so Republic of Korea or Rock, as we will be calling them, are in the blue. On the top, they are the defenders for this S-grade fortress. A hardened buff, everyone was waiting for a hardened buff, so most likely people are still coming in. Any Rave, I know that person. What's up to Any Rave? Shout out to Any Rave. He has his own YouTube channel too, so good luck to him with that endeavor. Looking for their leader, we have one minute and 42 seconds left before the beginning of this battle. People are coming in. All right, we'll head back in here in a little bit. Let's head on down to KL. KL in the red, the attackers. As they are the attackers, I will be following them. No shocker there. Looking for their leader. Not seeing anybody here. Looking for the crown, looking for the crown. They may still be trying to come in. 60 seconds before we begin. I'm not seeing them, that's fine. Let's go, let's head on up, back up here to Republic of Korea. There is their leader. It looks like Tanker. There he is, Tanker. Tank, yeah, he's got a couple X's. Tanker, 30 seconds before we begin. Tanker is the leader of Republic of Korea. Battle will start soon. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Republic of Korea versus Korean Legacy. Fortress Siege number 33. I have a feeling this is going to be a bloodbath. All right, Republic of Rock is trying to get their altar imprint and we're interrupted. Now in the past, Rock is trying to get in the past. KL was pretty much stacked with Silver Rangers. Let's see if they still are. KL over halfway. Rock just trying again. KL interrupted. And Rock interrupted. Rock trying for KLs. Wow, they're, okay. Rock interrupted on KLs. Now the team allowing the other to get that simple 10% buff. Not so simple though. Not in a fight like this. Rock trying for both now. Rock interrupted on KLs. Rock still going for their own. Rock over halfway. Rock trying for KLs. Rock, three seconds, two seconds, one second. 
10% buff for Rock in the next three minutes. And they're gonna come flooding down here to KO. KO trying for their own. Interrupted. Looks like the non spawn gate of KL has been taken down, and one of KL's holy artifact defense towers has already been taken down. Rock trying for KL's alter imprint now. Rock over halfway. Rock, two seconds. Oh, interrupted. Wow. Rock is dominating this fight right now. Rock trying 4KL's Alter Imprint again. It's It was only less than, what, 4 million CP difference, but Rock is making it look like it was like a 50 million CP difference right now. Rock interrupted it again on KL's Alter Imprint. We got the non spawn gate of rock is also down. Not looking good for Korean Legacy at this time, though they are doing a great job of defending and preventing the Republic of Korea from getting that 30% buff. KL trying to get their own interrupted. Right now, Rock is leading in the kills. We are only a few minutes into this fight, however. I was seriously expecting the kill-death ratio to be somewhere around 2,000 to 1,000 for one of these two teams. But again, 26 minutes remaining in this fight. 26 and a half, really. Free and Legacy. Swarming up here, trying to prevent Rock from getting that 30% buff. And Rock only has 36 seconds left of their 10%. Korean Legacy doing a great job here on defense, preventing that, preventing Rock from getting that 30% buff. But there's no Korean Legacy here now, and Rock is over halfway. Oh, and there they are, interrupting. Republic of Korea. Rock, 10 seconds left in the 10% buff. Trying to go for Korean Legacies again. They're over halfway on Korean, interrupted. Rock's 10% buff is over. Great job by Korean Legacy preventing, but Rock is trying to get both of them right now. Rock is over halfway on their own and interrupted on both. Free and Legacy finally trying to go for their own. Interrupting Rock on their Alter Imprint. KL interrupted on theirs. KL trying again, Rock. Over halfway. Rock, two seconds. Oh, interrupted. Good job there, Korean Legacy. Korean Legacy. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Korean Legacy. Finally, they can come up here and they can finally try to do the same thing to Rock that Rock did to them. Rock is trying to get their own, they're over halfway. Rock, one second, 10% buff for Rock, 10% buff for Korean Legacy. We are tied right now. With the exception of Holy Artifact Defense Towers, Korean Legacy is missing one, while Rock still has both of theirs. Now let's take a look at how these dots are going to move around, because this is going to go all over the place. We'll head over here to the non-spawn gate of Republic of Korea. Looks like Korean Legacy is trying to do some damage to the Holy Artifact Defense Tower, but they were unable to do anything. Big battle going around here at the at the healing fountain. Not really sure what's going on here. We'll head back here into the map.
Looks like Rock took control of the healing fountain. What good that does anybody. This is not open siege. I'm not really sure what they're doing. Looks like there's some... Korean Legacy managed to get some time. And thank you for that friend request. I'll get back to that in a second. We're in 23 minutes and 14 seconds. Looks like one of the defense towers of the spawn gate of Korean Legacy has been taken down. Boy, there is battles going on all over the place. Korean Legacy, a little bit more time for them. Korean Legacy. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> Finally, they're stopping them before they come in and rush the Holy Artifact. They're stopping them at the gate where I don't understand. Nobody does this. Nobody does this. But finally, we're seeing a clan do this. And they are stopping them here instead of all the way at their holy artifact. Good strategy there. Thumbs up for that there, Korean Legacy. All right, so Korean Legacy's Alter Imprint is being imprinted by Rock now. And interrupted. Rock is trying to get their own. And KL got a little bit more time there. Both, well, Rock has been interrupted on both Alter Imprints. They're trying for their own now. Interrupted. Trying for KLs. Interrupted. <laughs> Korean Legacy trying for rocks now. Interrupted and rock trying for Korean Legacies. Wow, this is all over the place. This is outstanding. Both, the, both teams trying for altars. It's all over the place. Looks like Tanker tried to get a little bit of time to try to catch up. And Korean Legacy's not, they're not that far ahead. Maybe one second, two seconds ahead. Tanker is just sitting there, just laying there, taking a, a leisurely nap. Another team able to get their, or a 10% buff at this time. Rock was interrupted on their own. Korean Legacy trying for their own. Rock trying for their own. Rock interrupt or Korean Legacy interrupted. KL trying again. Rock, three seconds, two seconds, one second. 10% buff for Rock for the next three minutes. Korean Legacy is gonna have to, they're gonna have to defend hard. I don't see it happening and it didn't happen. There is Korean Legacy's leader. I don't know what that name is. Rock interrupted on Kales. Alter imprint. Rock is trying again, interrupted again. We have 19 and a half minutes left in this battle. Korean Legacy probably winning right now in terms of Holy Artifact imprint time. Uh, for the tiebreaker, Rock is leading right now in kills, 654 and counting versus 433 and counting for Korean Legacy. Rock, halfway through Korean Legacy's Ultra Imprint. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Rock with the 30% buff in the next one minute and 55 seconds. Let's see how Korean Legacy deals with this. Because it looks like the spawn gate 
of Korean Legacy has been taken down. And the spawn gate of Rock is still up. Not that it actually means anything. This is not open siege. This is Forcer siege. Less than, less than a minute and a half for the 30% buff for the Republic of Korea. And there is nobody here. Korean Legacy doing a great job stopping them at the gates. They have one person here sitting at the Holy Artifact while everyone else tries to stop them from coming in. Doing a great job. Great job by Korean Legacy of stopping Rock from coming in and getting any kind of Holy Artifact imprint time. However, over here at the non-spawn gate side of Korean Legacy, Rock is flooding in right now, but Tanker is sitting around. All right, for underdogs, Korean Legacy is doing pretty well. They're winning right now. We got a lot of time left, but they are winning right now. Rock, 18 seconds left in the 30% buff. Korean Legacy just putting up a wall at the gates as it should be done. This is a choke point. That's why they call it a choke point. Very rare to see other clans do something like this. They just let them waltz right in. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like there's some kind of strategy involved. There's really no strategy in, in, in letting the other team waltz in and get Holy Artifact imprint time. Rock over halfway on their own altar imprint. Rock with 30% buff for the next 45 seconds. Well, if Korean Legacy can defend for the next 16 and a half minutes, they will win this fight. And they are trying their darnest to defend. Korean Legacy getting a little bit more time while they're defending. That is outstanding. Rock, 10 seconds left of the 30% buff. Korean Legacy trying. I don't know if they're trying to push their way out or if they're simply trying to stop Rock from coming in. Rock trying for that 30% buff again. They're doing a phenomenal job of preventing Rock from getting any Holy Art Artifact imprint time. Rock interrupted with about two seconds left, but they're trying again for that 30% buff. A lot of red down here in their own base but not a whole heck of a lot here. But it doesn't matter. They managed to interrupt Rock three times now. Four times now. Rock over halfway. Rock with a 30% buff for the next one minute and 21 seconds. And Red is just, despite everything, KL is still coming up here and getting Holy Artifact imprint time. All right, back down here. As Rock tries once again to push their way into Korean Legacy's base. We have 14 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. And right now I would say, I would say Korean Legacy is winning probably by two seconds or so, maybe three, four seconds, something along that lines. And Holy Artifact imprint time for that tiebreaker. Rock is, or, or Korean Legacy is doing a great job. While they were doing a great job, Rock's starting to push their way in now. Trying to play a little open siege here and prevent Korean Legacy from doing anything after they respawn. 
Korean Legacy does not want to be caught in this situation. It looks like they were able to fight their way out of it, more or less. Republic of Korea with over a thousand kills. Korean Legacy with only 674 kills. And but despite all that, Korean Legacy is still winning this battle, more or less. But Rock is starting to tighten the noose here. This is not looking good for Korean Legacy. They put up a good fight up to this point. Tanker finally respawned. There is a lot of rock. They have managed to push their way in and they're pushing Korean Legacy out of the way. And Tanker has died. Tanker needs to throw up a couple of reds. There it goes. Looks like he finally managed to, uh, or finally was willing to do that. Green Legacy trying to push Rock out of their base. Big battle going on here around Green Legacy's Holy Artifact. Rock with a 30% profit in the next 1 minute 20 seconds. Rock, 1174 kills. Free and Legacy, 764. They are being, I don't know. Free and Legacy is definitely trying to hold the line. I mean, everybody, look at this. Almost everybody is down here in Korean Legacy's base right now as Rock is trying to end this battle. KL got a little bit more time. There is a lot of blue around here. I, there's Tanker right there. Killed almost immediately. We have a little under 11 minutes left in this battle. And I don't know, I, it's possible that Rock is caught up at this point. Totally possible. Korean Legacy is playing, I mean, they're just, I, I can't even say if they're playing defense or not. The altar of Earth and printing <laughs> There's Fault Leaders. Tanker taken out before he could even get to the Holy Artifact of Korean Legacy. And there is Korean Legacy's leader. They are doing a great job here on defense. They must be winning. I mean, if it's even just by a sliver. Come over here to the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Rock is trying to push their way in. Korean Legacy doing a great job of more or less not allowing them in. Rock has a 30% buff for the next 50 seconds. Tanker keeps coming in through the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. I think they're anticipating that by now. We have nine and a half minutes left remaining in this battle. Rock is trying to do another push. Big battle over here. At the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. No, you're not gonna be seeing, you know, dozens and dozens of seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time in this battle, ladies and gentlemen. You're not gonna be seeing, look at it, there's KL trying to get a little bit more time, Rock trying to get a little bit time. 
Whereas the other battles you've seen, like a, a hundred seconds or more of Holy Artifact imprint time, that just that's not happening here. You're either gonna win this game, or this game's gonna be decided by seconds. Eight and a half minutes left in this battle. Rock, one minute and ten seconds left of the thirty percent buff. Korean Legacy, nine hundred thirty-one kills. Rock, thirteen seventy something kills. Wow. Korean Legacy, despite being outkilled, they are doing a great job on defense right now. They are, are they are allowing their leader to run up there and get some time. Not a lot of time, but every little bit counts. It's just all, it's back and forth. It's, it's from both sides right now. And I saw a notification go off. I don't know why, I have it on Do Not Disturb. Apparently it doesn't undisturb certain notifications. There's Tanker, is Tanker dead again? Nope, he's trying. Okay, Rock, I think by now, Rock is definitely winning. He is not by himself. He is surrounded by his teammates as he should be. All right, he got it down to eight seconds. Rock is taking a humongous lead right now. For sure. And he got more time. And here he goes, trying again. Rock is trying to defend him. Doing a great job. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Interrupted. And he's trying again. Interrupted again. That poor tanker. He's trying. He or she is definitely trying. They're trying again. Interrupted again. Stunned. Trying again. Rock is definitely winning this fight right now in Holy Artifact Imprint time. Six minutes and 17 seconds remaining. Korean Legacy doing a great job of, of interrupting him, but he's just getting a ton of time right now. This fight goes the distance. Rock has it in hand. But they are doing a great job. Six minutes remaining in this, in this battle. They're doing a great job of preventing Rock from winning this fight outright. Tanker at it again. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, interrupted at 5 seconds, but he's trying again, yeah, Rock definitely has this battle in hand right now, He, they're, they're just so far ahead, Free and Legacy just unable to do anything, they are down here, they are trying to fight their way, they're getting hit from both sides, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, no, again at 4 seconds, there we go, and he's trying again, 20 seconds left, 5 minutes remaining in this battle, 15 seconds remaining, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, he's all by himself, 3, 2, 1, and congratulations to the Republic of Korea for successfully defending their S-grade fortress. Great job by Rock. Congratulations to G. John for taking number one. And it looks like Rock took one, two, three, four, and five for the placements. Here are your stats. KL, they did a fantastic job in the very what for the for about 20 minutes or so they were they were basically ahead and then rock finally with that 30 percent buff i believe finally managed to push their way in and get enough time and then eventually just win this battle some dashes there on kl's side we'll head back up all right, so there you go.
Let's see how the other two real battles took place. Uh, let's see, Whiskey won. I don't remember who they were. Dauntless. Dauntless beat No Mercy. I know that was a real battle, so congratulations to Dauntless. And then there was Ataraxy was another real fight. Congratulations to Ataraxy for defending their fortress. And of course, Republic of Korea defending their fortress against Korean Legacy. Congratulations to everybody who fought a real fight today. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Hit me up on Discord. All the information about my username is in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.